Um, I have never worked in a casino before, but my first job was at Agua Caliente, the first casino that I've ever worked at. Um, I've never worked in a kitchen before where there's servers and buzzers. Every other kitchen that I've worked at, it's just me. So my first job, I worked at a Chinese Express, and I was a server plus cashier plus um, dishwasher, and I also cooked. So those are my first job. I've never worked with like people who would go out and serve the food for you or bust plates or anything like that. Um, last year was very busy since it was the second year that the restaurant had opened. I never knew what it felt like to have somebody get on my nerves so badly until I met a particular server. Um, it all started on a Wednesday night. We were extremely busy and short staffed that day. There were only three of us and six servers. I had made the servers aware of the situation beforehand. One of the cooks had gone to their lunch while we were busy. So we ended up just being two people. So it was even more stressful and even harder for us. Um, Tessa, the server, was very was a very impatient person, so at this point she was already in a bad mood because we were way behind on our orders, but again, I had already told them that we were going to be very short stop and it was going to be a little bit stressful, but we were going to be able to get their orders done. Uh, she kept rushing and snapping her fingers at us even after I had politely asked her to leave and wait patiently. Instead, we ended things in a very unprofessional and harsh way. So, um, hey, where's my order? They have been waiting for a long time. Tessa, you need to wait. We are super busy, and as you can tell, there's only two of us. I don't care. I need it now. If your order, uh, dude, your order are at the end. You barely put them in. You need to work faster. My guests are waiting, and it's not your fault. It's not my fault that it's so that you're so slow. By now, she started grabbing other orders and taking them to her since some of them were similar. What the believe are you doing? You need to relax. This is a fast food restaurant, so they can wait. I don't believe in care. <laughs> at this point, she started yelling at my other coworker and telling him to hurry up. And I was already stressed enough, and so was he. I understand that you're upset and stressed out. Are the guests asking for their food, or are they causing you trouble? Please let me know so that we can work things out and not, uh, not yell at each other. You should worry less about me and focus on doing your job correctly and quickly. You need to wash your mouth and get out of the kitchen. Your place is out there, not, be, not back here. At this point, a manager was called and she was prohibited from going to the kitchen for the rest of the night. I had felt bad and waited until everything was over to apologize for my behavior. Hey Tessa, I'm really sorry for what happened. Uh, earlier today, uh, uh, I I really felt disrespected when you snapped at me. I was also stressed out. Honestly, I really don't care. My guests were waiting for the food, and I needed it ASAP. You are telling me that you have you have no remorse for how you acted earlier. I really don't have time for this. And like I said before, you were really slow. You know what? In the future. You know what, in the future, in order to prevent more problems, just don't talk to me and wait patiently for your food like everyone else. That's it. Now you pass the